کتابیں ہیں ان پر انگریزی زبان میں تبصرہ شائع کرتے ہیں لکھتے ہیں ہمارے یہاں بہت ایسے کم لوگ ہیں جو اردو کی کتابوں پر انگریزی زبان میں تبصرہ کرتے ہیں لیکن ان کی یہ خصوصیت ہے انہوں نے ایک فیلڈ چنا ہے جس ہم جیسے لوگوں کی یہ حوصلہ افزائی کرتے ہیں اور ان کی رسائی جو ہے جو جموں کشمیر کے نمائندہ جو اخبارات ہیں انگریزی اخبارات ان میں ان کے جو تبصرات ہیں وہ شائع ہوتے ہیں اور ان کی تذیرہ یہ ہوتی ہے یہ اردو میں بھی لکھتے ہیں انگریزی میں بھی لکھتے ہیں آج انہیں شکیب میموریل ایوارڈ سے بھی نوازا جائے گا کیونکہ یہ مسلسل سرگر میں اب ہم پچھلے دو چار سو سے لگاتار یہ جو ہے تبصرے کر رہے ہیں انگریزی اخباروں میں اور ان کی ایک افسان چون کی کتاب بھی شائع ہوئی ہے جس کا نام ہے تسکین دل وہ بھی میں نے شائع کی تھی تسکین دل اس کتاب کا نام ہے اس کے علاوہ ان کے جو مضامین ہیں وہ جو بیرونی ممالک ہیں ان میں ان کے مضامین شائع ہوتے ہیں بیرونی ممالک کی کتاب ان کے وہاں کے رسائل جرائے ہیں رئیس صاحب احمد صاحب سے بزارش کرتا ہوں کہ آپ آئیں اور حیروش صاحب کی کتاب پر انگریزی زبان میں اپنا لکھا ہوا درسہ پیش کریں بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں ایوانی صدار اپنے بیٹھ مقتدر سکوالر مقبول حیروشی صاحب ڈاکٹر مسرین پروفیسر مسرین صاحبہ راجہ یوسف صاحب ناظرین نزیر صاحب دیگر احباب سلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ مقبول حیروشی صاحب کی کتاب برگی زہین میں پرکی مشمین جانتا ہے مائک 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 The Valley of Kashmir is famous for its enchanting beauty mesmerizing climate and also for being the abode of Rishis and Sufis. Besides this, it has given birth to a number of world-renowned scholars and liberators of global reputation. Maulana Amrita Safi, Baba Dawood Khaki, Dini Kashmiri, Peer Zara Gulam Ahmed Mashur, etc. are some of the legendary scholastic figures where he has given birth to. Though, through liberty perspectives too, the soil of valley is very fertile. Poets, authors, critics, and researchers of valley have been successful in gaining popularity and reputation both within country and the globe. Among these few noted writers, Magbur Fairozi is a prominent name, who has expertise on Islamic mysticism and has authored many books related to Sufism. Hailing from Ferozpura, Rabiabad area, Baramula district, Muhammad Magbur Dar, Elias Magbul Herozi is a retired civil service officer. He has pursued his post-graduation in Persian to Kashmir University and later went to Iran. He writes regularly articles and essays on varied subjects like history, Sufism, social and cultural aspects of society, and mostly posts them on popular social networks inside Facebook. His articles and essays are widely hated by a good readership who encourage him to move forward and continue writing good setup for them. Till date, he has written hundreds of such articles and essays and finally compiled them into a collection. This collection of one to nine articles, Barj Zari, is published by GNK Publications Kashmir. It is spread over 348 pages of superior paper quality. Its cover page is beautifully designed. Bhagavad Feroji writes in comprehensive words, words which has both glorified this masterpiece as well as helped the readers to understand the message which author aims to share. On 23rd of October 2023, this collection was released in a grand literary function in that it has already been once released in the auditorium of Government Higher Secondary School Barangula in which noted writers and poets of value participated. Dedicating this book to this parent Magbul is of the view that everything can be bought from the market except the mother's immortal love. On its forward page number 11, author says that in today's high tech world, it is much easier to communicate with the people living in far apart continents, thus transforming the whole world in a single way. The digital technology helps us in extensive research and sharing our ideas and thoughts with the world. I have been acting upon the advice of my friends and dear ones, finally decided to make it a collection. Khamoshi Guptagu hai, page number 13, is the opening essay of this book. So, easier Urdu, author has highlighted the benefits and blessings of silence. He has quoted a couple of Persian and Urdu couplets to prove his statement. 
علم کی ابتدا ہے ہنگامہ علم کی انتہا ہے خاموشی اسلام اور کشمیر پیج نمبر 23 it is a known fact that اسلام سپریڈ ہیئر لارن لیو ڈیوٹو لارن لی ڈیوٹو نوبل ایفورٹ سا بلبرشا اینڈ میر سے دیلی ہم دائیں رحمت اللہ علیہ وآلہ بٹ when we analyze different historical books especially the one written by Kalhana the Raj Dharani it comes to four that Islam had dug its roots much earlier during 8th and 9th century traders, soldiers and tourists have played a pivotal role in spreading the noble teachings of Islam in Kashmir Muslim Asti Dil Dil Ba Akli Ni Baban page number 29 Maghul Ferozi has quoted a number of Dr. Iqbal's Urdu and Persian couplets in which he reiterated that instead of loving this mortal materialistic world, we must be anxious about the better rewards in hereafter. He just translated the Quranic message in his poetry. Maji ki moke se, moke se, page 37, Maghul Ferozi writes about his first golden days of Iran when he was ready there at Tehran University during 1972 to 80. He was selected a couple of times there to receive the Empress for the inauguration of new semesters of his research program. During Nauru's, he, along with other students, was given an opportunity of all Iran free tours. Employees there were given an additional salary on the eve of Nauru's, and even class for civil poorest would come in their own private cars. Such was the economic condition of Iran. The only thing which displeased him there was their negligence of religious duties on, and unbridled like wine play. About divine knowledge and Sufi mystics, Maghul Kheroji has written a detailed piece, Ilmi Ludni or Khirkaposhi, page 4, 5, 6, in which he has quoted few couplets of Dr. Iqbal, depicting the virtues and qualities a mystic possesses, along with the divine knowledge. It isn't given through a traditional physical source, rather God bestows his own friends by his knowledge. As a result, they show some miraculous friends. According to him, light of the eyes is sufficient. Rather, one has to unblind his heart to get acquainted about mysticism. Sohbati Saleh, Sohbati Saleh, page 59. This one focuses on the company one should adopt to reap the benefits of a good company. Both are strongly recommended for a PS and virtuous company. In fact, one is known by the company of his friends. Thus, he must prefer the company of good and God-fearing people only. Sohbati Saleh Turak Saleh Kunal. Sohbati Saleh Turak Saleh Kunal. Yadi Mazi, page 74. When Maghul Karaji was pursuing his PhD at Tehran University in 1977, and once he intended to return back home via Fishawa Rao Pindi to meet his uncle there, Suddenly, a calamity struck the plane and it was about to crash when something wrong happened in its machinery. All the passengers on board were helpless and were certain to die within seconds. He too had lost his power focus. A Sri Lankan passenger was repeatedly requesting him for the prayers. This melancholy lasted for about 10 minutes and the mishap was awaited only after the pilot announced, Attention please. We were in danger. Thank God, everything is okay now. Piri Rumi Marshid Roshan Zemir, page 79. Mulana Rumi is really the name of multidisciplinary and multidimensional personality who has molded the minds of millions of people through his poetry, writings, and sermons. It is he is one of the great spiritual writers who have mentored thousands of people who have attained spiritual glory. Dr. Iqbal, like philosopher, too, considers him as his spiritual mentor. While going through the poetry of Dr. Iqbal, Falcon or Shaheen is mentioned frequently. Actually, he has found it in poetry of Khushal Khan Khatak, a postal poet. He hasn't merely mentioned it in view of his it is lengthy and high altitude flight, rather Falcon is altogether different from other birds who possesses some virtues and qualities of a pure Muslim. So Iqbal chose him to address the young generation. Kalami Iqbal Me Shaheen Ka Tasawur, page 100. Kaabde Miras Padar, page 117. Maghul Pirozi again cited Dr. Iqbal in this brief essay. He says his son doesn't deserve the share of his father's property when he is completely unacquainted about the later legacy. He encourages learning other languages of the globe, but at the same time, he 
we must we mustn't ignore our own mother tongue. This is our identity, cultural legacy, and the language of our ancestors. Walidan ke saath post ne sulu page one five nine. Glorious Quran and Hadith of the Prophet frequently stresses on the obedience yes, of Allah, yes. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and one's parents. Besides Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the God-fearing sages too have strongly recommended to obey one's parents. In fact, there is no room for the disobedience of the parents by their children. So, utmost care must be taken to obey parents. Dost or dosti ki kahani, page one seven six, is so beautifully written that through this easily understandable piece, even an ordinary person can realize the value and strength of 